Hello and welcome to this new training video dedicated to our Caldera version 12 RIP software. In this video, we will learn how to register and activate new Caldera RIP software with a hardware license. Let's get going. What is a hardware license? With version 12, Hardware licenses are an alternative to fingerprint-based software licensing. Most often, a hardware license is requested when it's not possible to have an internet connection on the RIP station. Unlike the software keys, a hardware key is linked to a USB dongle and doesn't need to be renewed every 30 days. For more information on software licenses, you can watch our dedicated video. In the case of a RIP station failure, the hardware key dongle can be connected to another RIP station to benefit from the license. However, it's important to consider these limitations. The dongle represents an additional cost when buying the RIP software. The dongle can be lost, broken or even stolen. To activate your RIP software with a hardware license, five essential elements are required an activated workspace account. Caldera RIP version 12 software must be installed. An access number, it will be communicated to you by email after your order is confirmed. The access number is a unique number per customer made up of six digits. For instance, 634-425. A dongle number. This is a 10-digit code, for example, 1234-567-892. A dongle. You will find your dongle inside the Caldera Media Pack. Activate a RIP version 12 with a hardware license. Step 1. Create a workspace account. To use Caldera software, a Workspace account is required. You will need to create your account before RIP installation. To create your own Workspace account, go to the official Caldera website, caldera.com, and access the Workspace from the main menu. Click on Sign Up to create your account. If your company is already linked to a Workspace account, the company admin will receive your request by email. After validating your request, you will receive an email to activate your account. If your company is not yet linked to any Workspace account, you will simply receive a validation email to activate your Workspace account. Step 2. Install Caldera RIP. Before installing the software, you should check out the compatibility chart available at caldera.com. Click on OS Compatibilities to access the chart. Then, go to Workspace to retrieve the RIP installation files. Go to Download and Installations and click on Installation Packages. Rather than going to Workspace, you can also install the RIP using the installation key provided in your media pack. The grey USB stick is a bootable key and allows you to install the Linux Debian operating system. The black USB stick contains the installation files for the RIP software. To check the full installation process, you should go to the Caldera desk. Use the same credentials as Workspace to log in. After installing the RIP, don't forget to update it with the latest build. Once again, log into Workspace to check for updates. Step 3. Get the V2C license file. You are now ready to get the license, called V2C file. Sign in to your Workspace account.
Then go to Downloads and Install Area. Caldera Licenses Management. Register a new license. Fill in the Access Numbers field. As mentioned earlier, this number will be communicated to you by email after your order is confirmed. The number is also written on the back of your media pack. Then type in your dongle number. After installing the RIP software, this number can be found by typing localhost colon 1947 in a web browser. This will bring you to the Gemalto Control Center, the new license management system used by Caldera. Then plug the dongle into the computer and click on Sentinel key to retrieve the dongle number. Next, you must assign the printers you want to manage with your license. The options displayed here depend on the number of drivers you have purchased. Here, for instance, the order includes four drivers. From your first license download, you have seven days to make a change. If you don't assign a printer, you won't be able to drive it with Caldera. Once that's done, click on Continue. The license is then added to your account, visible from the tab My Licenses. You can then download the V2C license file directly on your desktop. Step 4. Activate the RIP. It's now time to load the license file. First, plug your dongle into the station, preferably using a USB port at the back to ensure some protection. Return to the RIP software and click on Configure License. In the new window that appears, click on Activate a new license. Then load the license file. Select the V2C file downloaded earlier. Finally, click Close to apply the changes. Congrats! You are now ready to print. Licenses Management – How to update your license If later you buy an additional option, like an additional printer driver, your license will be automatically renewed within six hours of order processing. Of course, this will work only if the RIP station is connected to the internet. If the RIP station is not connected to the internet, you will need to download the license update file in V2CP format from another computer connected to the internet before transferring it to the offline RIP station. Then, from Caldera Doc, click on Apply License File. Search for the V2CP file. Click on Apply. Your license is now updated. You can drive your new equipment. How to share your license. As you probably know, it's possible to share a license with several RIP stations, depending on the number of users allowed by the license. Here, for instance, the current license allows two users, meaning that two people can work at the same time on two different RIP stations. If you want to share your license, you will simply need to attach this license from the other RIP stations through the network. This only works if the second RIP station is version 12 as well. The operating system doesn't matter. It can be macOS or Debian, 
as long as both stations are connected to the same local network. To share the license, launch the Caldera version 12 RIP software on the other station. As expected, your software is not yet activated. So click on Configure License. Click on Manage Licenses. The remote license file should be listed next to the corresponding IP address. Select the license and click on Attach. Finally, click Close to restart your Caldera RIP and apply the changes. The second RIP station is now activated. As expected, if we take a look at the Key Manager module, we can see that two out of two users are now active from the same shared license. That's the end of this training video about the management of hardware licenses. See you next time and stay tuned for more training content.